I am African and a Nigerian. My first time in Kenya, how did it go? What was my experience? Let's talk about it. My journey of experience in African country started in Ghana and next it was North Africa and country of Morocco. Going to East Africa, it has to be Kenya and Kenya did not disappoint. Our extraordinary view of the rhino at Nairobi National Park was so, so close. For me, going to Kenya, it was all about safari experience. And that was something I wasn't going to trade for anything else. Everything else that I was going to do in Kenya, we have to come after the safari. And that safari holiday is the one that, you know, if you haven't tried before, you definitely need to try it. And this is the reason why Kenya is known for safari, because you have a lot of tourists flowing into Kenya to come and experience the safari holiday. Something else that I have to touch on that I experienced in Kenya was the Matatu culture. After I saw a video by Kunle of Connect Log TV, if you stay Kenya not too long ago, if you don't know him, by the way, you can uh, check the link in the description box below to see his videos. So when I saw his video about Matatu culture, and I thought, oh, definitely I need to try this out. And and this is just, you know, public transport, by the way, it's public transport whereby, you know, they are colorful and then inside of it is where the magic happened, the noise. Well, if you don't want to go there, maybe don't go on it because it was really, really loud and really, very noisy. <laughs> And I really like the what we call them in Nigeria a conductor. So basically, when you get into the bus and then you have this guy, sometimes it's one person or two people that will just be at the door, and they will be the one to collect the money um, for the yeah the transportation fee. And you know, this guy they were dancing as well. You can see them moving with excitement, and I was like, you know. <laughs> These guys, they are really enjoying what they are doing. They are enjoying their job. You see, the Amatatu culture, you know, is something else. Is something else. Something that happened to me in Ghana when I visited and I was recording on the street, well, close to the airport, maybe security, you know, a lot areas. And I was like, you know, stopped. And the security people, they kind of like took me to up to the hierarchy. And like, I was questioned. This happened to me as well in Kenya, but this time it wasn't really that serious because, you know, they just like, you know, I saw this military guy in military uniform and then they, they it's kind of like, a, you know, they waved to me and asked me to come. I got to them and they said, what am I doing? I say, I'm a tourist. I'm just, you know, I'm just recording my experience of visiting Kenya. And then they were like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then they, they, they let me go. For me, it wasn't really a problem. I just believed that they were doing their job. See, it's the one lion lying down. Ooh, lion lying down. <coughs> Let's see. Kenya being a former colony of Britain, like my home country, Nigeria, a lot of people speak English, so which makes communication very easy. So just stopping somebody by the side of the road and just asking a question, you know, having a chat. So it was really very easy. And, you know, English was um, just really uh, there as a means of communication for English, uh, you know, speaking people who visit uh, Kenya. <laughs> I was walking on the street in Nairobi, you know, I could hear a lot of Afrobeat uh, music, you know, yeah, so that was really, uh, that was really great. And even some music that, uh, you know, gospel music, um, you know, gospel music um, that originated from Nigeria, I could hear some of them as well. And it was really great as well, you know, having conversation with, um, you know, the driver of, uh, you know, of the safari, um, uh, you know, the safari game drive, you know, I had a lot of conversation with him. And one of the things that he told me as well, was that he really loved you know Nigeria movies you know in heart and um, you know in, in entertainment generally you know Nigeria definitely have that influence in a lot of African country and that was really great to see as well like most African country is either Muslim dominated or Christian dominated in fact there are not so many countries like Nigeria whereby you have you know yeah the percentage of Christian and Muslim is really very very close so for Kenya is Christian dominated. In fact, majority of the you know East African countries they are kind of like a predominantly uh, Christian. So you know Kenya 
as well, you know, they have a large population of, um, you know, majority um, of, of, of the people of Kenya, you know, they practice um, a Christian religion. I love talking about economics and I must not forget to talk about the economy of Kenya in terms of their major export. Believe it or not, flour is one of the major exports of uh, Kenya. Kenya do well in uh, flowers and uh, coffee and tea. In fact, the eastern um, countries of um, Africa, they do really very well with, um, they do well um, with uh, agricultural produce like coffee and, and tea. In fact, 40% of the tea that they drink in the United Kingdom comes from Kenya. Can you see that? You see, so majority of uh, Kenya's, uh, you know, tea export, they go to United Kingdom and my camera uh, lens is now focusing on, uh, on uh, 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 the sun, so which may, means that uh, I am going dark. Okay, so I think it's better now. So, um, yeah, so the, uh, uh, m most of the tea that they drink in Britain comes from 40% of it uh, come from Kenya. Can you see that? So that's really um, a lot of uh, uh, tea, um, you know, export from, from Kenya uh, to uh, to United Kingdom. And of course, uh, Kenya do have a lot of other natural resources like um, the likes of, I think I have, um, uh, crude oil as well, but I'm not sure if it's at uh, the commercial quantity. I don't think they have it at commercial quantity, but they do have um, they do have uh, that as well. And uh, of course, you know the likes of gold and a lot of other natural resources that most African countries do have as well. Kenya do have those as well. Kenya is a country as well that is um, known for you know athletics in terms of long distance runner. There are a lot of uh, long distance runners. Um, who are uh, from uh, Kenya, um, so that is uh, that is something uh, worth noting as well. Overall, I had a great time in Nairobi, Kenya, and this is me walking on the street somewhere around Westland. It was really a great time walking around freely, and I really enjoyed that. And the weather was great, so it wasn't um, cold or anything like that. Um, as I understand that there are seasons when uh, it can be a bit cold in Kenya. And um, yeah, so again, I was walking just around the central district. And actually, this place, it was, um, yeah, so why I was waiting for the bus, um, just um, somewhere uh, close to Westland uh, after I visited, um, um, you know, the uh, National Museum. And then I headed over to Westland area. And this is um, the uh, centra of uh, Nairobi again where um, I was, yes, I visited um, one market, I think it was city market or so, uh, where I bought uh, my Maasai blanket. And um, why around that area is where I've met some uh, girls, some young girls who um, are content creators, I guess um, they were when I saw them. And um, yes, yeah, so it, it was really nice uh, having conversation with real people um, around Nairobi. Great time, and I really enjoy every minute I spend in Nairobi, Kenya.